Next news is from Norway. Norway mask. Oh shit! Norway mask shooting suspect appears in court with two black eyes after being taken out by 65-year-old Muslim worshiper. Wow! So he was taken out before he could cause any damage. Yeah, before he could kill anyone, like uh, they strangled him, and when the police got there, he was like in a chokehold by the Muslim worshippers. Wow. This is amazing. Good job, these Muslim worshippers. The suspected gunman accused of an attempted terrorist attack at the mosque in Norway has appeared in court with two black eyes. Philip Manshus, Manshus, 21, is also alleged to have killed his teenage stepsister before targeting... Oh, so somebody did die. His teenage stepsister before targeting the Al Nur Islamic Center in... Uh, Oslo sub suburb Beirum, Beirum. I don't know. His facial uh, bruising is said to have been sustained in the desperate f fight inside the mosque, in which 65-year-old worshiper Muhammad Rafiq managed to disarm. Wow, this guy is amazing! Disarm the assailant as he began to fire his weapon. Police said Mr. Man Manchus, Manchus had hoped to kill with re uh, reports suggesting he had entered the building with at least two rifles and wearing body armor. Okay, so the Mus so this guy, this 21-year-old guy, just comes with two rifles in a, gun, uh, in, a in a mosque, starts shooting, and this 65-year-old Muslim, Muhammad, he ch he decides to go at him. This is pretty brave, right? Like, yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah, some so, some sources say that there were actually three people inside the mosque, and all three of them worked to together. And there are also some sources saying like those were not rifles; they were shotguns. I mean, but, but actually, actually, it uh, it uh, it is important because I mean, if rifles are assault rifles, they are automatic. I mean, he can just fire them and people can die and shotguns just uh, need a bit of time to handle, right. that's why. I mean, if somebody comes at you with a gun and you have no no weapons and you manage to disarm them, that's pretty badass. That's uh, yeah, pretty that's badass. <laughs> and this that's guy... pretty, like... James Bond something. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, but this guy, yeah, and this guy, but probably saved some lives by doing by being this badass. Good job, this Muslim worshiper. Good job. Or um, let's just call him. What is his name? The Muslim, the guy, Muslim worshiper. Um, his name is Muhammad Rafiq. Yeah, you're a hero, Muhammad Rafiq. Good job, Good job well done. Let's see what the top comment is. Uh, but anyway, why is this thing? This is where this was in Norway, right? This is this yeah. could have been a disaster. This is incre this is going to keep increasing, right? Like it's sad that for this, it's sad that like we this could be celebrated as something that would stop, even though he did kill his stepsister. So that's sad. But it does seem to be happening. Like the distance between these is sh shortening. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I uh, researched, uh, he's like he's inspired from the New Zealand shooting last year. Yeah, this is gonna. And he he called himself a disciple of Saint Cretan uh, uh, or something like that. I mean, he's calling the New Zealand shooter a saint, and he's calling himself the third disciple of him. Right. Okay, you were frozen yeah. as well, but you're back now. Just my computer. Right. Okay, that's just my computer. Okay, okay, no, yeah. Ooh, ooh you're freezing. Uh, anyway. You're lagging. I'm lagging. Yeah, you're freezing as well. No, I'm not yeah. lagging. You're lagging. You're lagging. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll get you back very shortly. Okay. But but another thing is that this is the ima imagine the amount of stress this is gonna cause. I went to um. Uh, mosque in Vancouver, right? Because it was open mosque day, right? Uh, in Vancouver, so they were inviting non-Muslims to come to a mosque and um, learn about Islam. And I was like, yeah, "Great, this is um, I want to go there." And I I went to a mosque, and they recognized me there because as an anti-Islam critic, critic, right? Because this some of the people there have seen my videos. 
And what happened was that some guy came to me, this elder man from from that worked at the mosque. He came to me and he took me to a corner and he said, like, listen, um, the the people that come here to this mosque, um, they're good people. Please don't come here and shoot them. And I was like, holy what? Like, first I felt angry and sad for him at the same time. Because first of all, I felt sad for him because I felt like, my God, these people are so stressed out if they think like every time they're coming to worship here, there could be sh somebody could shoot them. Like, imagine the level of stress that you have to go through. I also felt a little bit angry because, you know, I thought, like, I didn't tell him that, but I thought, like, imagine if I told him, like, a Muslim, like, hey, I know you're a Muslim, but please don't kill us. Please don't do a terrorist attack here. We're good people. Like just saying like, oh, because you're a Muslim, I think that you might kill us or something, right? So I think like I should have told him like, listen, if I don't assume that you're going to shoot me because you're a Muslim, is it fair for you to assume that I'm going to, that like this, you know, I'm a risk become an anti-Islam critic? Like, but again, again, this, they, they, this is a new thing for them. This is a growing threat. So I didn't say anything. I just, I, would, I just tried to tell them like, no, man, don't worry. I'm not going to come shoot. But that's so sad that this is becoming a major. And like, imagine, imagine having to live with that fear. Uh, anyways. Oh, wait, there's a top comment, actually. Uh, Trevor saying another life wasted his and the people that he affected. He should be hung and forgotten no no he shouldn't be hung capital punishment doesn't work and the justice system is meant to prevent crime not to satisfy people's desire for revenge so we go with what works better and capital punishment doesn't work what do you think Shopam? yeah i think uh, that's right and uh, his his punishment is like uh four weeks in prison and after that i think he will be sent for therapy and all wait uh, really only four weeks in prison yeah yeah that that's what i'm surprised about just i mean this was this was really attempt of terror and what did four he, weeks doesn't didn't really, he kill somebody he killed his step uh, yeah he killed us he killed his stepsister for being of chinese origin holy shit he killed his stepsister because okay yeah, that was sure, a, because it was uh, a racist extremist Okay, uh, so, his stepmother so, adopted his stepsister uh, when she was a child, and she's of Chinese origin, and that's why they killed his stepsister. Oh my god, that poor girl! But and 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 is so his he wasn't even raised in a racist environment, but if his mother adopted it, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's uh, something else. Like uh, the media and news reporters and were all went to his neighborhood and they were asking people about him. Some said that. Uh, last, uh, I mean, a few years ago, like someone in his family died or something like that, and after that, he has been like really different. And right. since a year ago, he has been very much into religion and uh, racism and everything. Okay. He has supported uh, uh, Nazis. He has supported uh, shootings, uh, like the New Zealand shooting and everything. Okay, wait, if you had all this detail, why are you wearing, tell, give me the, the, these details if you know them, right? So the next news, make sure you add them, because that's very important to, uh, the, but, 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 but here's the thing, if it's only four weeks and it, now they're going, maybe they, re, maybe it's because he's mentally, you know, unstable or something. Like we might yeah, look it at could it. be, that's why, that's why he needs rehabilitation and therapy, but still four weeks in prison is, I don't think it's I mean, if it's come. I don't know. I mean, if it's completely, if there's something completely wrong with him, maybe he doesn't deserve any prison. Yeah, and he 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 could be mentally ill because uh, first of all, when the court called him, he said that he's not guilty. I mean, that's not something a sane person would say. Everyone knows he killed his sister and he attempted terror, but he's saying that he's not guilty. Okay, so and and we don't know. Okay, but if he is meant, um, men there's something mentally. I don't know what the right word is, but something mentally wrong with him then it also suggests that next like be careful not to like like for example trevor here in the in the top comment saying oh just hang him like well now now you have to be ashamed because look this guy this guy doesn't deserve any punishment because he's just meant there's something wrong with him he's he's fucked up in the head or something right i don't know 
But again, be you know he's and also it's very interesting when people are like oh he did this like just throw him in the fire hang him oh just a bullet in the head or something it's very biblical right eye for an eye like the very biblical way of doing justice which is quite ironic coming from atheists atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.